Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I just want to show you how to set up your Galaxy S24 for the very first time. So maybe you're coming from an iPhone or a different Android phone, or maybe you just want a refresher on exactly what you need to do to set up your Galaxy for the very first time. Now right here I have the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I just took this phone out of the box. I haven't even powered it on yet. So let's get it powered on and do the entire setup process together. So of course the very first thing we gotta do, hit the power button to get it started. And there you go, you can see the Samsung logo and the phone is now powering on. And here you go, as the phone powers on, you can see right here we have our welcome screen. So we can go ahead and change the language in here, but it's probably going to set this to your default language in your region. So we're going to leave it as English and then we're going to go ahead and hit start. Now this screen is just asking us to agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. You can go ahead and select agree to all, or you can just agree to the ones that are mandatory. So this one right here is optional. You can uncheck it if you want, and then we're going to hit agree. And now on this screen, you can see we can transfer all of the data from our old phone. And I actually have my Galaxy S23 Ultra nearby, and you can see it actually recognizes that we have a new phone and it's asking us if we want to transfer any of the data. So if you have another Galaxy device or an Android or even an iPhone, you can go ahead and transfer all of your data over to your new Galaxy phone. Now I'm going to save this for another video. So we're just going to go ahead and hit set up manually and then it's going to ask us to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So just go ahead and do that. All right, we're all connected. So we're going to hit next. Now here it's asking us to copy apps and data. Again, I don't want to copy anything just yet. I just want to set this phone up from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and hit don't copy. Okay, now it's asking us to sign into our Google account. Now you're definitely going to want to do this, sign into your Google account on your phone so that you can use all of the Google services like the Play Store in order to download applications to be able to back up your phone and all of your data and just use all of the Google services like the calendars, contacts, and everything else on your device as well as uh, activate device protection features on your phone. So don't skip this step. You can do it later, but I would suggest you just go ahead and set this up right now. Now on this next step, it's asking us to agree to some Google services. So you can see it, it's asking us to use our location, allow scanning for apps and Wi-Fi networks, send diagnostics data. You can go ahead and read through these. I usually leave these enabled except for sending diagnostics data. I just don't want my phone constantly sending data over to Google. That's a drain on the battery and I just don't want my data getting sent over to Google. Apart from that, we're just going to go ahead and skip accept. Now here you can set up some biometrics to unlock your phone. So if you want to unlock your phone using your face or your fingerprint, you can set that up from here. So we're going to go to fingerprint. We're going to hit continue. And now in order to set up face or fingerprint unlock, you will actually need to set a pin password or pattern first, just in case if those biometrics ever don't work, you have another way to unlock your phone. So we're going to go ahead and select pin and then we'll just do one, two, three, four, continue we'll use anyway, even though it's a weak pin, hit OK. And now we can set up our fingerprint. So we're going to hit register. And now just go ahead and place whichever finger you want to register. Make sure to move it around a couple of different ways. And there we go. We can add another fingerprint or we can just go on to the next step. So we're going to hit next for now. We can always add more fingerprints or face ID later through the settings. Now I like all of these as default. I want my fingerprint to always be scannable. I want to always see where the fingerprint scanner is on my phone, even if it's locked. And I like the animations of my phone unlocking. So I'm going to leave these all as default and then hit continue. Now here it's asking us to log into our Samsung account. And you're definitely going to want to do this because if you have a Galaxy device, using a Samsung account is very important because it will give you access to things like the Galaxy App Store, Samsung Pass, Find My Mobile, Secure Folder, Samsung Cloud, Shared Albums. There's a whole bunch of features that become unlocked when you use a Samsung account. So if you have a Samsung account, you can go ahead and log into it. If you don't have one, you can tap onto here and it will create a Samsung account for you. So go ahead and create one or log into an existing one. All right, now on this screen, there's a few options that we need to agree to. Now, I know a lot of times we don't really read the fine print. We just say, yes, let's go, 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 go. We want to set up our account, but be very careful what you select here because you can see down here, it says uh, get special offers and product news through email, push notifications and third party platforms. We definitely do not want that. And here it says improve personalization ads with Samsung account data. We definitely don't want that as well. This is just going to send a whole bunch of ads our way. We definitely want to disable these, but make sure you leave this one on. Turn on offline finding. This will allow you to find your phone even if it's offline. So this is definitely a really important one, even though it's optional, but just be, be sure to de deselect these ones right here. You definitely don't want these. Now we're just going to go ahead and hit agree. Now we're just going to use our old device to verify that this is us. Now here is giving us an introduction to some of the new AI features that came to the Galaxy S24 lineup of phones. So you can go ahead and read through some of these if you want, or you can just go ahead and skip next. If you want to familiarize yourself with these, you can still do it in the settings later. So don't think that if you skip this, you're not going to know what's going on. We're just going to hit next for now. We're going to hit agree here. 
Now we're gonna select light mode or dark mode. I am a huge fan of dark mode. I always do everything dark mode. So go ahead and select which one you like. Dark mode also saves you some battery because these are OLED displays and any part of your phone that's actually completely black, those pixels are actually off. They're not working at all. So that does save you a little bit of battery. So if you want dark mode, go ahead and select that. And that's it, we're all set up. Now we can hit finish and it should take us to our home screen. All right, guys, so there you go. Our phone is now completely set up and we can start using it. Now, one more thing that you should note is if you go into your notification panel, you'll see there's a few little notifications here. So there's a few more things that you can do, like finish setting up your Galaxy S24 Ultra. You can tap on this and it'll take you through a few more setup processes. You see it's installing a couple more applications in the background and it tells you there, there are 22 updates available for the applications that we have on our phone. So what you wanna do is just go through here, make sure you update all of your apps, make sure it let, you let it finish installing everything that it has left to install and probably go through this little setup process right here. But you're pretty much all set up and ready to start using your phone. Now, if you guys want to learn about all the things that you need to do on your brand new Galaxy S24 or S24 Plus or Ultra and all the settings that you want to go through and everything that you want to change to customize your phone, I'll be making lots and lots of videos in the coming days about all the cool new features and settings and applications and everything there is to the new Galaxy S24 phone. So be sure to subscribe and stick around for more. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.